Hello, everybody. Um, I pray everybody is doing well today. Um, I have a message that the Lord laid upon my heart a good while back. And I've been studying it and, and dwelling on it and um, critiquing it and everything. And I just... Um, feel really led of my heart to do it now. Uh, it's something that I feel like is very needed right now. So, I will just go um, right into it. It's a message of being thirsty. What are you thirsty for? There are so many things that we can be thirsty for. And a few years back, um, young girls that were very promiscuous, um, it was called they were being thirsty. They're thirsty. And um, And, you know, somebody that has a really bad thirst... They'll do anything to quench that thirst. You know, they'll drink almost anything. That's really bad thirsty. Um, people are thirsty for so many things. There's a thirst for making money. Um, can't get enough. There's a thirst for things. Just can't get enough of things, material things. There's a thirst for human affection. That's what I was um, addressing earlier. Um, rather it be, you know, just thinking I've got to be in the presence of people all the time. I've got to have somebody around me, you know, people that can't stand being by their self. Um, and then there's a thirst for, you know, sexual... Um, touch um think they gotta have it um we just have a thirst for about anything other than jesus jesus can jesus can feel all those things it says in matthew chapter 6 in verse 33 that above all and I'm reading from the Passion Translation. Above, So above all, consistently, constantly seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. Then all these less important things will be given to you in abundance. Refuse to worry about tomorrow. But deal with each challenge that comes your way one day at a time. And tomorrow will take care of itself. That's another thing. Um, people get so bombarded with um, worry. But that's another topic. That's another message for another time. But um, Jesus, um, you know, talking about sex. Um, Jesus told the Samaritan woman, which I I would probably venture to say that hers was probably the loneliness and maybe the sexual, and that it was among other things that I'm fixing to um, talk about. Um, he told the Samaritan woman in John four and thirty. If you drink of the water that I give you, you will never thirst again. She had a thirst. She had had five husbands. And the man that she was with at that moment wasn't her husband. Jesus told her that. You have had five husbands. And the woman and the man that you're with now is not your husband. And I would like to also add that she probably had generational curses. The spirit of lust. 
um, spirit spouses, most definitely she had spirit spouses. Um, and I'm more than sure that Jesus cast these demons out of her. In Matthew 5 and 6, it says that he who hungers and thirsts after righteousness will be filled. you got to hunger and thirst for Jesus, for your healing and um, your deliverance. When we thirst after Jesus and empty ourselves of this world, this wicked, nasty, cruel world, Jesus says, do not love this world nor the things of this world. This world's going to pass away and everything that's in it's going to pass away. The only thing that is going to remain is Jesus and our, and our souls. The only thing that's going to have eternal life is heaven. It's all going to pass away. It says that in John, 1 John 2 and 15. Um, Jesus says in John 7 and 37 and 38, All you thirsty ones, come to me. Come to me and drink. So let's go to Jesus and drink. Let's not be filled with the things of this world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. Let's give, let's, let's trade all that in for a thirst for Jesus. Let's seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Let's seek that first and foremost. Jesus knows that we have need of these things. It says it in the word of God. He knows that we have need of clothing. We have need of food. We have need of shelter. We have need of um, all these things. And he's not going to withhold no good thing from them that walk upright before him. Whew. I feel the presence of the Lord right now. I feel, I feel the anointing so strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, if we drink the living water, we will never thirst again. So, empty myself of all these things of the world and the flesh and surrender to Jesus. If you're struggling with something that you can't seem to overcome... It's a repetitive cycle of sin, repeat, sin, repeat, sin, repeat. You may want to seek out deliverance. The Bible says that we are mind, soul, body, and spirit. And it's in the body and the mind where the spirits are and the soul. They can't touch your spirit. And they have to be cast out. If this is, if this is you, you can just reach out to me on Messenger, email, um, you can reach out to me on Messenger and get my email or my phone number and we can talk because he came to set the captive free. Jesus came to set the captives free. We don't have to walk around in bondage and chains. We can be free of all this stuff. But first, we have to have forgiveness because it says in the Word, if you can't forgive, how can your Heavenly Father forgive you? Um, that's one of the keys to being healed is forgiveness. We have to forgive We have to, um, we have to have a heart that's pliable that Jesus can work with. We can't have a stone cold heart. We have to have a heart that Jesus can work with. And we have to have our minds made up. That we're sick and tired of walking through the same old um, routine. Sin 
repent, sin, repent, sin, repent. We just have to be tired of going through that whole process and that we won't change and that we want freedom. And Jesus is more than willing and ready to set us free. I pray that this reaches somebody and touches them and that this speaks to them, that it encourages somebody um, to stop thirsting of the things of this world and the flesh and to start thirsting for the things of Jesus. Because that's all that's going to last. This flesh is going to, um, it goes into the bar it goes into the grave and rots. It's the spirit that's going to live forever. It's our souls that's going to live forever. And that's all that matters. Jesus is all that matters. I love you all. If you need me, reach out to me. My name is Wanda Ray. Reach out to me. Love you all.